Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel where we produce daily blockchain content. Today's topic of the day is going to be liquidity networks and why they are important for the ecosystem at large. If this topic interests you, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe for more daily videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know, a decentralized liquidity network is basically a way of exchanging. It's, it's basically a decentralized exchange, but instead of using the way it works is you, in, you use smart contract functionality <coughs> um, to basically exchange tokens with themselves. Um, it, it, it's cool because you, you, you create a hub token. Um, like in the case of BNT, the bank or network token, um, they were the first ones to actually accomplish it. And what they did was they created their own custom token. And then they connected a whole bunch of other tokens to that. So now all those tokens trade against the bank or network token. And they can all be connected to each other through this one hub token. Similarly to how a hub and spoke works, um, in a way. That's, that's, that's the way I usually look at it. Um, you got the hub, and then you got all the spokes connecting to it, and eventually it forms, you know, a network. Um, what I think is really cool about this solution is it allows you to keep full control of your crypto at all times um that is actually a major majorly important philosophy in the crypto space because if you don't have custody over your tokens what's the difference between you know the dollars in your bank account for instance um this is this is what it means to be censorship resistant um so i think having full custody of your tokens at all time is a great feature that it can offer um as well as comp you know even a higher level of decentralization i would argue than regular decentralized exchanges because they're really um how can i put it um because, because you don't even need because the smart contracts exist on the on the platform level or on the blockchain level, excuse me, that even if they get rid of the interface, which is what they plan on actually blocking the the, the web application. Um, I was reading an article earlier about that. Bankware is actually going to block the web application so that users won't be able to convert from their web application anymore um they're just doing that for like regulatory certainty basically and um even after they do that though <clears throat> um because the smart contracts are all on the blockchain it won't be a big hindrance um, everything can really still go on you can still trade at all times it's it's literally a protocol that's built right into the internet so it, it, it really makes it unstoppable. And, um, you know, a lot of people are going to try to use the web app anyway. A lot of U.S. customers, they're going to try to mask their IP through some sort of VPN or something like that, which is always a possibility. But the main thing is, because Bancor is decentralized, that anybody can build their own web app. Anybody can, you know, make something that can connect to those smart contracts and you know your money will always be there the smart contracts will always be there you're always going to be able to trade day or night you know these these smart contracts will always be open um i definitely see uh these liquidity networks growing bigger and bigger truly the potential is very unstoppable and very limitless um because any token can join the network, big or small, it really allows you to tap into the long tail of, of cryptocurrencies.
Yeah, see, and it, it, it goes on to list in this article. It says, Bancor was the first to launch a liquidity network in 2017, with Uniswap following it only recently. While both networks adhere to the above principles, each has its own characteristics, offering different benefits and drawbacks. All right, guys. So basically, um, from what I can tell in the ecosystem today, 2019, June 25th, Bancor and Uniswap are the only real liquidity networks in the market. And the one is built on it. Well, actually, they're both built on Ethereum, but Bancor is also cross-train compatible with EOS. Um, that's very important to mention and highlight because it builds tremendous value in the BNT network and token because, because of the fact that they use bnt and created their own token to be the hub of the network um it allows them to go cross train <clears throat> and recreate their token on other networks so that their network can all be connected into one big big network um uniswap decided to go with a different approach there they've also had um a level of success in the space um Basically the same concept, same characteristics. It works about the same way, except now instead of having introducing their own token, they use the Ethereum token because it already has that built-in liquidity. So um, they didn't really go through the trouble of, of putting another token in the network. Um And the drawback to that is you're only going to be able to swap between tokens on the Ethereum network, whereas Bancor you can swap at the moment um, Ethereum and EOS tokens. Um, over 9,500 trading pairs across 140 plus tokens. Um, comparatively, Binance is one of the biggest centralized exchanges with 153 tokens, but only 443 trading pairs. So as you can see, this liquidity network model allows for infinitely more trading pairs because now every single token in the network can essentially trade with each other, making them all trading pairs. Whereas on centralized exchanges like Binance, um, you have, you know, dominant liquid tokens that are the trading pairs like Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, but in the liquidity network model, they're all, all the tokens are liquid to each other based on a reserve. So it really, um, it really allows small cap tokens to be traded more easily within the ecosystem. So it. It won't be long before Bancor has the most tokens in out of any other exchange in you know everywhere. That's gonna happen pretty soon. Yeah, and the article really caps off here. It's a pretty short article. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um just to give you guys uh that little bit of understanding about decentralized liquidity networks. They're still early. Decentralized exchanges are still early. Um, there's still a lot of building. There's still a lot of development that needs to happen before we can get the liquidity needed to make decentralized networks competitive to their centralized counterparts. Um, as far as regulation, um, for all you guys who might be worried about this, I wouldn't even be worried about it. I think, if anything, this is a prime opportunity to highlight why decentralization is so important and why it's so unstoppable. Because this is really going to show why this is the future. Because even if, you know, they comply with the regulatory rules and all that stuff, it's, it's not going to stop it. It's not going to stop people from using the platform. It's online. It's on the internet. You know, it's just like trying to get somebody to stop from torrenting files and movies and music. It's never going to happen. You know, you can crack down on it, but 
at the end of the day, this stuff is, you know, it's online now and, and it's money. So it, it, it's just a complete paradigm shifter. Complete paradigm shifter. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut the video off here, guys. Um, if you hadn't, if you didn't get a chance to definitely, please make sure to give the video a like subscribe. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to put out another video. Um, today is what the 25th, 26th. That will be the launch of the prospector IO for the gold ticket members. So if you are a gold ticket member, definitely make sure to leave me a comment, hit me up. Um, I'm looking for people to join a union with i'm gonna be playing that game and i'm gonna probably be live streaming uh haven't made up my mind i kind of want to live stream on theta a lot of people have been talking to me about theta and i want to try that out so yeah definitely um gotta figure that out i gotta figure that out tomorrow but i'm gonna leave the video right there thank you guys for watching have a good day